guys, welcome back to Make It With Mod Podge. My name is Kathy Fillion, and today I'm gonna show you how you can take your old recycled bottles and turn them into these adorable Halloween bottle lamps. Now I am using paper napkins. They did all of the work for me. Of course, I'm using my Mod Podge to attach those napkins. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you paint the edges to blend the napkin into the background of your bottle. And I'm gonna show you how you can attach all those really cute gems just using the same Mod Podge. All right, let's dive right into this project. I'm using Mod Podge Satin and Folk Art Multi-Surface Paint. The first step is that we're gonna separate the plies of the napkin and I'm just opening up my napkin and then I'm going to use a little piece of tape and I'm just sticking that to the corner of the napkin and I'm gonna use that to peel back one of the layers. Now you can see that this napkin is three ply, so I'm having to repeat that step twice. You're only gonna work with the top printed ply of the napkin, otherwise you will end up with a very wrinkly project. So go ahead and separate those plies and then I'm going to cut out my design. I'm just cutting off the side like that. For the top edge, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a feathered look. So I went ahead and tore the top of it and that will just help it blend into my bottle and my painting more. Next, we're gonna coat the whole bottle with Mod Podge and satin. Of course, you could use gloss or matte here as well, but I just wanted to use the satin to get that sort of in-between look. So I'm just coating the whole bottle, then I'm placing my napkin piece down. And you have a little bit of time to wiggle it around, but be very careful because the napkins are delicate. Then I'm just pressing and smoothing with my fingers to remove any wrinkles and to really make sure that it is stuck down. Now for those edges and those sides, you might need to go in with a little bit more Mod Podge and just make sure they're completely sealed down on both sides. Now once this is down, we're going to wait 15 minutes until we top coat. So remember, let it dry for 15. Then we'll go in and top coat and I'm just using that same Mod Podge formula and we're just brushing it over the top. And once that's dry, then we'll be ready to add our embellishments. Now this is just an extra step. You don't really have to do this, but I wanted to add some bling to this bottle. So I'm using that same Mod Podge satin with a detailed Mod Podge paintbrush. I'm painting that onto the little details of the house. And then I'm just adding some black gems. Now these are little tiny gems like you might use for diamond painting, but you could use big ones, little ones. You could really use any kind of embellishments here that you want. It just gives it a little sparkly look. Now with the Mod Podge, it is flexible, so you can go in with your finger or the back of a pen to line those up. For the windows, I'm adding a little bit of yellow there just to add some highlights. But again, you can do whatever you want. Now to match that painting, I'm using Folk Art Multi-Surface Paint, and I went ahead and just sort of color match the background of the napkin, and I'm using a spouncer to apply that. I really like to either use a cut-up sponge or a sponge paintbrush because you're going to get a more speckled look and not a brush stroke look. So go ahead and first lay down that color to match your napkin. And then I'm going in and adding some orange there because you can see a little bit of orange on the napkin. And now we're gonna use our black. Now the black I'm doing for the entire back side of the bottle, and that will really make the front of it glow. It'll make all of the light forcefully go out the front and not the back. So now you can see I'm just using that same spouncer to combine our paints and match up a line there along the back seam and then to follow along in the front where the napkin ends. Now to really finish it off, I'm adding a little bit of black to my yellow and I'm tapping that on just to blend the napkin into the bottle. Now for that neck of the bottle, I'm just going ahead and gluing down some rope. You could use sparkle ribbon here, diamond ribbon, you could use rope like I'm doing. It's endless. You just wanna finish that top off if you want. 
You could even add some cobwebs around there. I'm just wrapping this and gluing it. And for those lights, I'm using cork lights. These you can find online and at the craft stores and you just thread them right into the bottle and they're battery operated. And look at how fun this turns out. I just love how this bottle lamp turned out. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Look at all that detail and that gorgeous light coming through. Now this works best on clear bottles. So water bottles, clear wine bottles, any kind of bottles like that. You can even do this technique on jars. This is great for the mantle. Trick it out with some mini pumpkins or some other little skeletons or some little fence pieces. So many different ideas on how you can decorate with these. Thanks so much for joining me today. I'll be back here next week with another fun project to share with you. And until then, have fun crafting for the spooky season.